Okay. The next is that star delta connection. In this case, in the neutral is isolated for star there is uh, no neutral here, right. As the neutral is isolated, so zero sequence current cannot flow as and this side is delta and, and uh, later we will see about uh, next to diagram we will see delta. So, it is star is uh, that uh, star side is your ungrounded, no ground, so no zero sequence current flow flow and, and for delta you know there is no neutral, right. So, this will remain uh, this will remain open and this is your reference one. That means, this uh, these two diagram this one that star, you know, star grounded and other side secondary side is ungrounded and this side and this one uh, this one they are your they have the same negative sequence diagram this kind of connection this one as well as this one. So, this will remain open because no negative sequence current can flow. When we take the numericals for unbalanced fault at that time we will see how things are connected. Now, another one is uh, next one is that star grounded but delta connection. In this case what will happen that neutral is grounded that means primary current can flow because there is a zero sequence circulation current in the delta connected secondary. That means in this case a zero sequence your zero sequence that your what you call circulating current can flow in, in the delta, but it will not leave it right. It cannot leave the your terminal. So, in this uh, I mean so, it will circulate, it will be circulating your zero sequence current. So, in this case what will happen that there is a zero sequence circulating current in the delta connected secondary and a ground return path for the star connected primary. That means, that means your neutral is grounded in this primary side means this current can flow because there will be a your what you call that circulating current inside the delta right. That means, that, that means, if, but in this case what will happen that also note that no zero sequence current can leave the delta terminal. So, it cannot it cannot leave the delta terminal because it is a circulating current. That means, this zero sequence current can flow the if neutral is grounded primary side it can flow because the circulating zero sequence current is there in delta. So, in that case what will happen this is a this is your zero sequence reactance of the transformer then you ground it connect it, but as from delta as it cannot leave the terminal zero sequence current it is a circulating one. So, this will remain open and this is your ADAS and this is your reference one. So, this little bit thing you have to understand this one. So, this side is grounded. So, primary a circulating current will flow in delta because in delta also zero sequence circulating current will be there, but it cannot leave the delta your terminal, but it will be inside it will be in circulating one that is why, but primary current can flow because this side is grounded and this side your zero sequence current can flow in primary side. That is why uh, and delta it is a circulating zero sequence current, but cannot leave the terminal. Therefore, that this this uh, your zero sequence diagram for this connection will be make the transformer reactance connected to the reference right, because at the beginning I said primary current can flow because there is zero sequence circulate current in the delta connector. So, connect it, but after that this you leave open because this side uh, delta uh, the zero sequence current cannot leave the delta terminal. So, this is your zero sequence network diagram for this kind of connection. And another th last one is for this one that another thing is that your that your delta delta connection this is also delta this is also delta. In this case what will happen the zero sequence current will circulate in the delta, but it cannot leave the terminal. So, diagram should be uh, right. Uh, so, delta terminal and equivalent circuit is that is a circulating current this is delta this is delta. So, this is line this side will remain open this side will remain open, but make a small loop make the transformer zero sequence uh, your impedance and just close it like this. So, if you look this kind of diagram uh, when you I mean this kind of thing this loop itself is isolated from this side or this side because it is a circular your circulating current. So, for delta delta it will be a simply uh, that you make it to the reference make it to the reference but this will remain open. So, this is that zero sequence diagram for delta delta. So, there are five such connections for transformer. These are very important for solving for your what you call when fault at occurs and this kind of uh, so your this zero sequence network is very important and it makes seem the things very simple. So, that is your that means whatever we have said the symmetrical component positive negative and zero sequence right. So, all these things 
uh, more or less we have discussed. Nothing had been left out actually. Now, let us take a, an example. It is example means it's something like this. So, suppose you have a three phase balance star connected load with self and mutual elements as shown in figure 6, the load neutral is grounded with Z n is equal to 0. That means, your uh, this uh, Z n reactance that is taken as 0. You have to determine the sequence impedances. So, you have uh, three phase your what balance Y connected load right. That means, uh, that is your phase A, this is A, this is B and this is C, voltage is V A, V B, V C and current flowing to this I A, I B, I C and reactance is Z S, Z S, Z S, but they have a mutual inductance between phases that will be between phase N A and Z M, between phase B and C Z M and between phase A and C that is also Z M and this is your uh, this is your I N right that neutral current. So, this is balance Y connected load. So, you have to you have to obtain that your sequence impedance. So, the line to ground voltage because this is a uh, from your circuit theory your couple circuit you have studied. So, the line to ground voltage V A will be equal to V A is equal to your uh, V A will be equal to Z S I A plus Z M I B plus Z M your I C because the mutual inductance is there. Therefore, you can write V A is equal to Z S I A plus Z M I B plus Z M I C because mutual inductance is given between the phases. Similarly, your V B is equal to Z M I A plus Z S I B plus Z M I C because we are writing for V B. So, Z S I B other two will be Z M I A plus Z M I C. Similarly, when I write V C Z S I C then other two are Z M I A plus Z M I B. So, this way you write line to ground voltages V A V B V C. So, this equation you put in matrix form that is V A V B V C equal to Z S Z M Z M Z M Z S Z M Z M Z M Z S. This is equation say 1. Now, we will follow the we will follow the same uh, your philosophy this matrix as it mutual as mutual inductance is there uh, between the phases. So, this matrix will define Z A B C that is that is we know from the same relation that V P is equal to Z A B C I P that is V P is equal to from this equation only V P is equal to V A V B C trans V C transpose I P is equal to I A I B C I P uh, I A I, I B I C transpose and this is your Z A B C matrix. So, V P is equal to your V A V B V C transpose I P is equal to I A I B I C transpose and Z A B C is equal to this one. Therefore, same relationship we go back to equation 12, there V p is equal to A V s and I p is equal to A i s. That means, that means your V p is equal to your A v s same relationship equation 12 and I p is equal to A i s same relationship and this one V p you support here A a your what you call V p is equal to your you put a your A v s. A your A into V s and here also I p is equal to put I A I s. If you put that, that A b s will become Z A b c into A i s multiplying equation this 5 both side you multiply by A inverse. If you multiply by A inverse then it will be V a 1 V a 2 V a 0 is equal to, to 1 third this is A inverse is equal to 1 third this one then this is your Z A b c this is your A you know all these things we have given and this is your I A I A 1 I A 2 I A 0 multiply all. If you multiply then what will happen that uh, this will become V A 1 uh, V A 2 V A 0 is equal to it will become Z S minus Z M 0 0 it will become 0 Z S minus Z M 0 and it is 0 0 0 Z S plus 2 Z M I A 1 I A 2 I A 0 this is equation 7, uh, 2 uh, 5, 7 right because here so many equations are there 4 your 4 5 6 and previously also 2 and 3 therefore z1 is equal to positive sequence will be zs minus zm negative sequence also zs minus zm and zero sequence will become your zs plus 2 zm right so next uh, next example is a delta connected resistive load 
So, this you have understood only thing is that uh, just on, just before that only thing is that this multiplication you have to make it in correct way because uh, three, three, three matrix multiplications are there and this beta operation your beta operation you have to manipulate in a better way such that you will get this correct answer. So, next next is example 2 a delta connected resistive load is connected across an unbalanced three phase supply as shown in figure 7. I will I'll, I'll give you that show you that find the symmetrical components of line currents also find the symmetrical components of the delta currents both you have to find out symmetrical component of line current as well as your symmetrical component of this delta current. So, this thing this example is like this it is a it is a uh, your diagram it is a delta connection it each branch it is resistive 3 r 3 r and 3 r taken in phase a current is 15 angle minus 60 degree ampere in phase b your 10 angle 30 degree ampere. So, current in c current in your here current here you can easily find it out i c because i a plus i b plus i c is equal to 0. So, first what you will do is come to here i a plus i b plus i c is equal to 0 i a is equal to given 15 angle minus 60 degree ampere i b is given 10 angle 30 degree ampere therefore, 15 angle minus 60 plus 10 angle 30 plus i c is equal to 0 therefore, i c will get 18 angle 154 degree ampere. So, three currents three line currents you have got and they are unbalanced. Now, using equation 24, 25 and 26 that 24 actually I a 1 is equal to 1 third I a plus beta I b plus beta square I c. So, it is 1 third it is I a 15 angle minus 60 I b is equal to your uh, 10 angle 30. So, it is multiplied by beta. So, it is 10 angle 120 degree plus 30 degree and plus 18 I c angle 154 degree 154 plus 240 degree. So, if you simplify this you will get I a 1 is equal to 4.64 angle 8.5 degree ampere only thing is that this calculations you have to make correctly sometimes I repeat that all these calculations actually uh, were done by me. So, if there is any mistake in calculation other things uh, just let me know. So, similarly, similarly uh, I a 2 is equal to 1 third again that is from equation 25 this equation from equation 25 I a 2 is equal to 1 third I a plus beta square I b plus beta I c substitute all these values that is I a 2 is equal to 1 third 15 angle minus 60 degree plus 10 30 plus 240 degree plus 18 angle 154 degree plus 120 degree. So, I a 2 will get 13.96 angle minus 77.9 degree ampere. Now, I a 0 is equal to 1 third you know I a plus I b plus I c and is a and that is I that is already that condition is given because that uh, for delta connection it is I a plus I b plus I c is 0 therefore, it is I a 0 is equal to 0 ampere. Now, go to the your uh, this is I 1 I a 2 I uh, your I a 0 uh, we got now go to I b 1 I b 2 I b 0 I c 1 I. So, we know that I b 1 is equal to beta square I a 1. So, we know this this will become 4.64 to 48.5 degree ampere. We know I b 2 is equal to beta I a 2 that is 13.96 angle 42.1 degree ampere and I b 0 is equal to I a 0 is equal to 0 ampere. Similarly, I c 1 you can get now I c 1 is equal to beta I a 1 you will get 4.64 angle 128.5 degree ampere. I c 2 will get beta square I 2 13.96 and its angle is 162.1 degree ampere and I c 0 is equal to I a 0 is equal to 0 ampere. So, we got I a 1 I a 2 I a 0 we got I b 1 I b 2 I b uh, I b 0 we got I c 1 I c 2 I c 0. Now, you have to find out something else that is that this uh, uh, this your delta load you convert it to star now you have to convert this delta into star. So, that means, if you convert to star it will become R R R because it is delta. So, it is given 3 r 3 r 3 r. So, if you convert E star then it is 3 r into 3 r divided by 3 r plus 3 r plus 3 r. So, ultimately it will become r that is why this is r this is r and this is r and current here is taken as I a I b I c and voltage it is V a b right similarly V b c and V c a. So, in this case here your what you call in this case you if you uh, this V a b is equal to 
you can uh, you can uh, make in this loop say k b l. So, it is your i a into r minus i b into r is equal to v a b that means, v a b is equal to r i a minus i a b that is your i a b is equal to v a b upon 3 r right. Uh, so, uh, and uh, your and this and uh, sorry uh, v a b is equal to r into i a minus now i a b is equal to from here i a b is equal to this current going a to b. So, this current is i a b. So, i a b is equal to from this figure it is equal to v a b upon your what you call 3 r this that means, this is actually I am for your uh, as it is uh, your this thing it will help you in bracket I am writing actually it is from uh, figure your 7 right it is from figure 7. So, that means, i a b from this figure you can write that your uh, your v a b divided by 3 r. So, that means, this v a b is equal to r into i a minus i b therefore, you put v a b here that will be r into i a minus i b divided by 3 r. That means, your r r will be cancelled and i a b will be one third 15 angle minus 60 degree because i a is equal to 15 angle minus 60 degree and i b is equal to 10 angle 30 degree. So, minus 10 angle 30 degree. So, i a b will get 6.01 angle 266.3 3 degree ampere this is your i a b. Similar way similar way uh, I mean similar way you can compute i b c and i c a. So, i b c also the same for very easy to remember for this kind of thing only one third will be there i b as per the data taken. So, i b c is equal to one third i b minus i c. So, one third 10 angle 30 minus i c is 18 angle 154 degree it is coming i b c is equal to 8.33 angle minus 6.64 degree ampere. Similarly, I C A will be one third I C A is equal to one third I C minus I A is equal to one third angle 18 angle 154 degree minus 15 angle minus 60 degree. So, I C A will be 10.5 if you simplify angle 138.6 degree ampere. Now, this is I A B I B C I C A we have got now go to the positive sequence negative sequence and your zero sequence component current say for say i a b. So, same same philosophy same formula. So, i a b 1 will write one third because we have got i a b i b c i c we have got it. Now, i a b 1 that is positive sequence component current of the line a b. So, that is i a b 1 is equal to one third i a b plus beta i b c plus beta square i c a. So, you substitute all these values. So, i a b is equal to one third i a b 6.01 angle 266.3 degree plus 8.33 your uh, I, it is uh, your uh, i i b c what uh, that is 8.33 angle minus 6.64 degree but beta. So, 120 degree minus 6.64 degree plus your beta square i c a beta square i c a actually i c a is equal to 138.6 degree right and with that beta square means 240. So, 10.5 angle 378.6 degree. So, if you simplify i a b 1 that will become your 2.67 angle 38.5 degree ampere. Similarly, i a b 2 is equal to one third i a b plus beta square i b c plus beta i c a i give you please do this one you substitute i a b i b c i c a and beta square and beta all these angles and please simplify you will get i a b 2 is equal to 8.06 angle minus 107.9 degree ampere and i a b 0 it will be one third i a b plus i b c plus i c a i a b 0 will become 0. Also note that you just can verify that i a b 1 actually is i a 1 by root 3 angle 30 degree. You know i a 1 you substitute here divide by root uh, this thing root 3 you will see this is becoming actually uh, i a b 1 is equal to and root 3 30 degree. Similarly, here also i a b 2 will become i a 2 by root 3 angle minus 30 degree actually this holds. So, this is I have just written in brackets So this is the that means, uh, that uh, i a that your i a b 1 and uh, your this is that positive synchronous com component of your phase current uh, your this thing what you call phase a right. So, this this uh, relationship holds. So, this is that uh, the only thing is that you have to compute thing correctly and you have to remember certain things. Now, slowly and slowly we will see something else. Now, 
another one is uh, uh, these are problem like problem type uh, at the same time you know the th how things can be done for example you have a delta connected load right and three phase supply it is a three phase supply abc and and it is a current of p and it and, uh, and supplying a current of 15 ampere right but if the fuse in one of the lines melts actually it's a uh, then compute the symmetrical component of the current so i mean one of the line that suppose it is cut fuse melts that means gone that means ib will become zero so what will happen so in that case if this is this is zero but current is given just mention 15 ampere so in that case it, suppose ia is equal to we take 15 angle zero uh, that ampere reference one then ib is zero that means uh, this uh, this ia and this ic also because uh, there is no current here that means this is the path for ic that means your ic uh, that if I, I is equal to then minus ic so in this case uh, ib is equal to 0 therefore ic is minus ic means ic is equal to 15 angle 180 degree ampere so we know that uh, we know that relationship ia1 is equal to one third ia plus beta ic plus beta square ib so you substitute all these values ia ib ic is anyway 0 right and beta that angle so you will get i1 is equal to 7.5 plus j 4.33 ampere now similarly i2 if you calculate it is one third i a plus beta square i c plus beta i b again i a i b i c you substitute and beta is there accordingly you make the angle uh, put this angle so it will be 7.5 minus j 4.33 ampere and i a 0 will become one third i a plus i b plus i c that is 0 that means i a is equal to for cross check i a is equal to i a 1 plus i a 2 plus i a 0 i a 0 is 0 that means i a i a is equal to i a 1 plus i a 2 so i a 1 is equal to this much plus this much so minus j 4.33 plus j 4.3 will cancel ultimately i a will become 15 angle 0 so for a cross check this is a simple problem but uh, it is a good problem next one this next one whatever we will show that we have studied that uh, altogether power unit system that this problem itself is a whole page but not that difficult one but zero sequence thing that whole page this problem is like this then i will explain the question is that that uh, uh, for uh, power unit system that we uh, that we have uh, taken a particular base and accordingly all base of the your base voltages of the line as well as the generator or transformer whatever it is accordingly it has been changed so those things we have studied in that your power unit system and here uh, this for this problem we need those uh, formulas right first we have to convert it to that old base impedance and then with the new base you convert it to power unit so this example directly i will write it because uh, power unit system component as far as, as far as i remember everything has been given and many problems have been solved so this one before giving the diagram is a very big problem but uh, but uh, just read carefully that uh, diagram will be given so things will be easier so a 50 mva 11 kb synchronous generator i'll show you the diagram has a sub transient reactance of 20 percent the generator supplies two motors over a transmission line with transformers at both ends as shown in figure 9 i'll come to that the motors have rated inputs of 30 and 50 mva both 10 kb with 25 percent sub transient reactance the three phase transformers are both rated 60 mva 10.8 slash 121 kb with leakage reactance of 10 percent each this is the power unit assume zero sequence reactances for the generator and motors of 6 percent each current limiting reactors of 2.5 ohm each are connected in the neutral of the generator and motor number 2 there are two motor so it is motor number 2 the zero sequence reactance of both transmission line is 300 ohm the series reactance of the line is 100 ohm so draw the positive negative and zero sequence network positive once you get all the parameters positive and negative sequence is not at all a problem not at all a problem problem is that zero sequence That's right i mean you have to draw you make it very carefully so this is actually uh, uh, some assumption that assume that the negative sequence reactance of each machine is equal to its half transient reactance that is also given so this is the diagram you have a generator 
generator is actually grounded star connected and grounded this is transformer T 1 this is your delta star transformer star side is grounded this is transformer T 2 star delta here also star side is grounded here also your uh, motor 1 this is actually motors this is motor 1 here is star but no ground and this is motor 2 it is 2 is written in the black in the circle inside the mode circle here also I have written 1 and here it is this motor is grounded right. So, now when you will do so when you will solve such kind of problems for such that you will not make any mistake or anything when you will calculate you mark some point for example, this is D you can put a bus bar like of thing also no problem then you can make this is E and if this is the line actually this is actually your line that is transmission line and this is this F here also here also we can mark by, by mark by a point I, I have made D E uh, your P Q and this point I have not marked it and uh, uh, if I have marked I will show you later in the diagram right and this point is P and Q this way first you mark it every, every place you mark it right then you will find things will be perhaps it will be easier for you. So, you have to draw positive negative and zero sequence diagram once you get the parameters positive and negative is not at all a problem. So, only thing is zero sequence we have to understand little bit. So, assume base power is equal to 50 mb and base voltage 11 kV because the generator actually given 50 mb 11 kV. So, what we are doing is that we are actually assuming base power 50 mb and base voltage 11 kV right. So, now base voltage of transmission line then it will be 11 into 121 by 10.8 kV because this transformer this transformer side actually it is your 10.8 kV. So, that is why that base will change for the line side it will be 11 into 121 10.8 because transformer actually this is this is your your 10.8 by 121 kV. So, it is 11 into 120 by 121 by 10.8. So, that is the line your base voltage 123.2 kV. Now, motor base voltage again you have to go to this, this is the line right this transformer again 10 point your 10.8 by your this thing 121. So, again it will be 123.2 into 10.8 by 121. So, motor side again will become 11 kV this all we have seen for power unit thing I hope you will understand this. So, transformer reactants so both are given x t 1 x 2 this is given 10 percent right now what you have to do is that same that uh, that power unit system i have not written which equation number it is but idea is that first this is your what you call the transformer is 60 mva that uh, is your both the transformer rating is given uh, let me see where the, this data are given that your uh, uh, here have i written no here it is given that uh, the motors are rated at this 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 and transformers per your the three phase transfer both 60 MVA right and rated at 10.8 kV. So, that means this transformer rate this power unit impedance is given 0.1 right. So, first is the transformer base the base impedance is 60 upon 10 pi your uh, your what you call that uh, 10.8 square by 60. So, with that if you multiply this will be the origin that is 10.8 square by 60 is there with that you multiply that is it is a ohmic value in its own own base. Now, we have taken 50 uh, MVA base and 11 kV. So, we have to divide by that 11 square by 50. So, that is why it is coming 0.1 into 50 upon 60 into 10.8 upon 11 whole square that gives 0 0.0805 per unit. This old oh, your old base and new base of MVA as well as voltages that in power unit system details are given. So, uh, uh, that uh, the details are given. So, from there only I am writing right. So, this way x 2 1 x 2 2 will get 0 0.0805 per unit. Thank you again you are coming.